Alrighty guys, uh, out here had uh, 1.3 inches of rain so far today, Saturday morning, uh, October 7th. Um, the past couple of days been raining on and off, so we haven't been in the field. Probably wait till Monday to get back in on corn. But anyway, I'm here working on the skid steer. Got a new throttle cable put on it. Uh, the old one, can't remember if I showed it in my last video. Got, I think it got into a flywheel and got all chewed up, so got that got all the other loose ends at least for now tightened up uh, at least to get it running you know the old engine oil's changed if it does run all right i'll go ahead and change the hydraulic oil and then the gear oil and the chains for the tires um but anyway what i was uh had asked everybody to give me their input on the fuel tank plug down there uh, a couple guys said plastic welder. I would have, but I didn't really want to pull the fuel tank up out of there. I wanted something I could do in place. Um, uh, some other guys said some other type of adhesives, but uh, ones I like the best. Uh, Burning Dinosaurs mentioned it, and uh, Old Farmer and Chuck Stevenson also said it. Um, uh, JB Weld it, and then I and I remembered after they said that that I've seen JB Weld on the gas fittings before and it doesn't seem to eat it away so that's what i did i would have gone to a larger size fitting but it's such a thin wall tank and it uh being a plastic tank and there wasn't room to go to a bigger fitting where it's sitting down there so I had to use what i had but i put a 24 hour uh longer drying jb weld on it and excuse my royal mess here Put that on and then uh, what I ended up doing for the uh, fuel pump, the NAPA one, I got NAPA didn't end up being right and so I guess these engines are kind of hard to get parts for because they're, they're little industrial ones, they got stuff different on them than the cars. But anyway, uh, I ended up going with just a universal electric pump. We've got four or five of these on various pieces of equipment around the farm. They work really good and they last a long time. A uh, little face it, uh, posse flow is what it's called. This one's a four to seven PSI. They also make a one to four PSI. Um, really easy to put on, really durable. And they make a loud clicking noise when they run out of fuel or something, which is kind of nice. Um, and they will catch prime also and the reason i really wanted an electric pump is you know if the fuel level is like here in the tank and the carburetor's up there you know if it's lower than the carburetor it could leak back out to the carburetor it's got a fuel shut off but who's to say that there's a perfect seal um and it could run back out but uh, i like these electrons i can turn the key on let it sit for a second and catch prime and fill the carburetor and then go ahead and start it up and a lot less cranking that way. But anyway, run, run it out. I got the fuel filter in there. Uh, I put that before the pump so that if it gets plugged, I would know it because it'll be starving the pump and that pump will start making a loud clicking noise. And then just obviously ran it up to the carburetor there and I ran a uh, keyed hot wire down from the ignition switch up in the top corner of the cab. We ran it through the firewall there. Had to leave some slack for when the cab folds up. And that other wire there, they had run, a, run another hot wire, power wire, going up to the key switch um, up in here. And some of the wiring is kind of tough in this thing. I'm going to have to, once I get it running and make sure there's no huge problems, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work on the wiring to make it look better. I got some ground wire mess here. It's just ridiculous. Kind of cobbled together and then they had just this other wire just completely flopping loose and it was all up around here so I took some slack out of it and zip tied it up I'll tell you what, what they did is they ran it through the hole and then it just kind of angled up here to the corner and then real loose didn't look very good so put that on there um, and they already had drilled a hole I don't know why they didn't drill a hole back here because it there's a lot like the pivot points of the cab are right here so then they wouldn't have to have as much slack but they had the hole drilled there so whatever but anyway we got the gas dumped in it and it doesn't appear to be leaking so i'll set you up on my phone over here and uh 
go ahead and try to start it. Let's see if the fuel pump will catch prime here first, make sure I don't have any leaks. You can hear it clicking there. And there it picked up fuel pressure. Well, so far so good, so give her a try. Well, that was just too easy. That thing, no choke or nothing, it just took right off, purring like a kitten. Set that idle down a little bit. More, more gas for that thing you're running great I'd heard on the internet these things are kind of a fickle little engine but I'm not gonna complain with this one all the lights did work up here uh, seat belt light I'm not sure about with the battery and the, that so. They might be out of hydraulic oil, I'm not real sure. Yeah, I think it's gonna need some hydraulic oil. I'll have to run in town and get some, but yeah, you can't argue with that. It's just a, you know, it's running great. Now the temperature, I don't think the fuel gauge works. We'll see if it warms up here and the temperature gauge works on it. Might need a little adjustment on the carburetor. But anyway, we'll come back to you here and get it moving. Alrighty guys, out here running it. Runs real good. It'll spin the tires and everything and it'll pick the back end up off the ground. The, the hydraulic side of things are real good. I do have a little bit of a hydraulic leak, but I'm not sure where it's coming from yet. Someplace under the motor, but Get that, or the, I don't know if the oil cooler is leaking on it or what, we'll get that figured out, but um, just moving some rocks around, no point in what I'm doing here, just having fun with it, but.
picked up. There we go, after piddling a little more, I got her rolled in there. That is about the weight limit right there. Starting to roll forward on me there, but... Definitely like a skid, a skid steer, you can really see stuff easy with them. Alright, well, that'll <clears throat> about do it here on the skid steer, so... Got a little clip my wife filmed, uh, and thanks to her for filming, and... Um, put that in here next, and thanks to everyone for watching. Got this for her. Oh, I got the corn head here. I'm going to get that ready to put on the 525, a pretty narrow head. <clears throat> Come off that one I had sitting around back, so that's what I'm going to do with it. Thanks for watching.